According to information published by Lenta on September in Russia, the first scheduled maintenance of the Yuri Dolgoruki Strategic Nuclear-Powered Ballistic Missile Submarine SSBN, is underway. This information was shared by Vladimir Maltsev, head of the All-Russian Fleet Support Movement. The Yuri Dolgoruki, the lead vessel of the Project 955, Bori class, is undergoing its initial planned repair, which is expected to take two to three years. Upon completion, the submarine is expected to remain in service for at least another 20 years. To date, the Russian Navy has received seven submarines from the Project 955 and 955A Bori A classes, each of which carries 16 Balava intercontinental ballistic missiles. The Yuri Dolgoruki was launched in 2008 and officially handed over to the Navy in 2013. Additionally, in June, the Irkutska, a Project 949 AM submarine of the Russian Pacific Fleet, capable of carrying Zircon hypersonic missiles, had begun sea trials. Former Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shaigu announced that the Navy will receive the Project 955A, Bori A, SSBN Nyaz Pajarsky and three other submarines in 2024. The Bore class submarines, Project 955-955A, are the latest generation of Russian nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, designed to replace aging Soviet-era submarines like the Delta III, Delta IV, and Typhoon classes. The development of the Bore class began in the mid-1990s, following a significant decline in Russia's industrial and shipbuilding capacity after the dissolution of the Soviet Union. The first submarine of the class, Yuri Dolgorky, faced delays and entered service only in 2013 after more than a decade of development. These delays were attributed to various issues, including the decline of Russia's shipbuilding workforce and challenges with the development of its missile system, the R-30 Balava SLBM. The Bore class design includes several innovations that enhance its performance, stealth, and endurance. The Bore A variant features a more streamlined hull, improved electronics, and a more efficient propulsion system, making it quieter and more maneuverable than its predecessors. One of the key elements is the pump jet propulsion system, introduced in the Bore A class, which provides enhanced stealth capabilities by reducing acoustic signatures. These submarines are also equipped with a spherical sonar array for improved detection capabilities. Construction of the Bore class fleet is ongoing, with plans to complete at least 10 units. The fleet is divided between the Northern Fleet, operating primarily in the Arctic, and the Pacific Fleet reflecting Russia's strategic priorities of maintaining a nuclear presence in both Europe and the Asia-Pacific region. Submarines play a key role in Russia's deterrence strategy, given that their stealth and survivability provide an important second strike capability. The recent commissioning of new nuclear-powered submarines into the Pacific Fleet is a part of a larger modernization campaign as Russia's older submarines begin to reach the ends of their service lives. The Russian Navy currently operates two classes of SSBNs, 5 Delta IV, Project 667 BRDM Delphin, and 8 Bore, Project 955A five of which are the improved Bore A, Project 955A, variant. The Emperor Alexander III, the submarine that Putin observed in December, is the seventh Bore class submarine to enter service and the fourth of the upgraded Bore A type. The Emperor Alexander III will be based with the Pacific Fleet located in the Kamchatka Peninsula.
Two additional Bore ASSBNs are currently under construction, and two more are thought to be in the planning stages. Eventually, it is expected that six Bore SSBNs will be assigned to the Northern Fleet based in the Kola Peninsula, and six will be assigned to the Pacific Fleet. The new generation of Bore SSBNs will replace the Soviet-era Delta IV submarines, which are scheduled to be decommissioned throughout the late 2020s and early 2030s. Each Bore submarine is capable of carrying 16 Balava SSN-32 submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs, which can carry up to six warheads each. However, it is likely that each missile has been downloaded to four warheads to comply with the new start limit on deployed strategic warheads. Although President Putin suspended Russia's participation in New START in February 2023, Russian officials subsequently stated that Russia would continue to abide by the treaty's central limits. If so, these SLBMs presumably still carry a reduced number of warheads. This limit falls away when the New START treaty expires in February 2026 unless it is replaced with a new agreement. A possible next-generation Russian strategic nuclear submarines concept, known as Arctur, or Arcturus, was unveiled at the Army 2022 International Military Technical Forum and could potentially start replacing the Bore-class submarines sometime after 2037. Notably, an industry official said the Arctur class will be smaller than the current Bore-class and have a reduced number of ballistic missiles. The design concept appears to allow the submarine to also carry other weapons as well as an unmanned underwater vehicle, which would imply a multi-mission role. New SSBN variants will also likely be equipped with reactor technology that extends the amount of time required between refueling, which will significantly shorten midlife maintenance operations and allow for more submarines to be on patrol at the same point in time.